Hey guys! On this video, I'm going to share with you the 5 things that will help you determine if the flight attendant career is for you. Keep on watching! So, let's start a new video today. But as usual, before we start our video, I just want to do a quick book shout out for everybody who got my book ready for takeoff just to give them thank you okay this is from Zay Ray Joey I, I hope I pronounce your name right so this is her picture is so cute she said I finally got the book thanks so much sis Zay Ray Joey and good luck to your application Dag Zashan so she's so cute. Oh, she has a photo of the book and she's hiding behind the Why are you hiding <laughs> behind the book? But thank you for sending me your photo. That's the chance. She said, Sorry, Miss Kikris, di ako nakapunta sa workshop mo. Instead, bumili na lang ako ng book mo. No worries. And thank you so much for getting the book. That's the chance. From Christy Chu CX Crew. She is all the way from the UK. Wow. And she got my book through Amazon. So this is her photo. It's a book, a photo of the book. Okay, thank you so much. Good luck to you on your open day, she said. Uh, Miss Kaker has been following you for a long time. Opening day next Monday. Good luck to me. So good luck, Miss Christy. And thank you so much for everybody who got the book. Uh, and those na hindi ko masama sa shout out, I will try on the next video. But do send me a photo of you and the book if you got it already. And I will include you on the shout out next time. So today, our topic is, is the flight attendant career for you? Okay. So, initial tips sa interview, but which I usually do on this channel. But I, I want you to have a little bit of perspective on what it really is like to be a flight attendant, and is it really for you before you even try to apply? Because it's hard to say FA ka na tapos dun pa realize ah this is not for me. Oh, the first no. thing, pakikisama or people skills. Pakikisama for me is number one because being a flight attendant, you don't work with the same person every single day. You work with new people almost every day. So sometimes you fly with them already and then you fly with them again. But it's a different set of crew. It's not always exactly same thing. Same captain, same crew. No, it's different. And also your work itself, you get to greet passengers who enters the flight attendant. You have to be friendly to them. You don't you're not the, if you're the type of person that won't say hi to a stranger or to a new person and you feel awkward saying hi to a new group of people you just met then you might have uh, an apprehension to being a flight attendant because your job as a flight attendant you're greeting them greeting virtually strangers every single day hello welcome to the flight and it, welcome to the flight enjoy your stay we're gonna you know it's you have to be the ma PR type of person. Um, even though there are a lot of introverts who become flight attendants, it's just way easier if you are ma PR because also when they have problems, you ha you have to deal with customer service. If you are the type of person na ma PR, ma karinyoso, you know, uh, magaling makisama, even though if it's just a stranger, then you will have like. 70% less of a problem wow. in the flight, <laughs> okay, in your career. You say you are naturally, you know, um, malambing and you don't want to get mad to somebody that you like, right? If you're somebody who who knows how to do pakikisama or knows how to deal with people, even though they're strangers, people will instantly like you because you're the one who's coming to them, being friendly to them, and uh, you know, being nice to them. So even if though I have a problem with the air the service or or the delay, I would be shy to be complaining to you because you're so nice to me. <laughs> right? So yeah, that's that's just my take. That's just 100 percent my opinion. <laughs> okay, the next thing that I want to say that is important or you will know if the flight attendant career is for you is if you're not afraid of customer service. 
customer service is a big part of our job. It's the day in, day out, day in, day out flight attendant deals with customer service. From the moment the flight at the passengers come into the airplane, you have to be friendly, you have to deliver customer service. And then during the flight, you have to deliver customer service. There's no time and space in the flight that you are allowed to be bitchy oh, no. or to be moody or to be... <laughs> <laughs> or to be argumentative no. to a passenger you have to be on the service side you're there for the passenger so being good in customer service if that's one of your skills then the flight attendant career is for you <laughs> the next thing that I want to say um, when it comes to the flight attendant career is you have to be physically fit the flight attendant career is very very demanding Sometimes you lose sleep, sometimes you work in the morning, and then the next day, suddenly you are working at night. So your immune system can really suffer if you are not careful. So if you are you know, sickly, you have anemia, or if you can't adjust to your fast-paced lifestyle, you're not physically fit, then you're gonna have a hard time becoming a flight attendant. Your, it's either your body will give up because it can't cope up with you. So you really need to have to you really have to be somebody who is physically fit. You know, you don't have to be really fat or an athlete, but it's an advantage. Most of my colleagues, they are an active athlete when they are in school. And when they became a flight attendant, they maintain their activity. They go to the gym. They do lots of sports. Lots of flight attendants in Oman, they have kickboxing, they have yoga. I had tennis back then. Uh, you know, there's a lot of things that you could do. Some, some do swimming, some just go to the gym. And because if you are, you make your body tough and strong, you can easily adjust to the sleeping pattern problems, to the to the you're exposed to a lot of crowd you know there's so many germs in the airplane so you have to be really strong and healthy to do this job because if not sometimes your body will give up like some of the people that I know they had heart problems my late friend Kia she was overworked and also she's dealing with some personal things so she, her heart gave out uh, and some others some went back to the Philippines to get treatment and things like that so it's a serious thing guys you really have to be physically fit to be a flight attendant you would know if the flight attendant career is for you if you are an independent person okay being a flight attendant you don't have a fixed working schedule you don't do eight to five you don't do holidays you don't do weekends what is weekends okay um as a flight attendant sometimes you don't have social life even though our work is very social you know very very social uh, working with colleagues and working with passengers when you go back to base when you go back to your apartment even your flatmate might not be there in the same apartment with you because she might be doing a london flight or she might be in paris and you are day off so you know living Sometimes you have to do a lot of living aside from flying, right? You have to do your laundry, you have to go to the grocery, you have to do bank stuff, you have to do what else? You have to do like recreational stuff, like go to the movies, eat out. Then most of the time your friends are not there they have other layovers also people who are not in the flying industry um, they have different schedule they have 8 to 5 and maybe it's a Monday and it's your only day off of the week then they will not be available to meet up with you it's not always uh, the convenient time that you're off you know it's there so maybe you could meet up your with your friends who are not flying once or twice a month because of this schedule so radical there will be a time that you have to do things on your own. So you really have to be able to go do the grocery on your own. Be It's a little lonely sometimes, but you know, you can find ways to entertain yourself. And if you're independent, you have an independent personality, you're gonna love it. You know, you don't have to wait for anyone and things like that. But some people, they find it a problem. The loneliness factor that because of it, they can't stay long in the job. Uh, because of that, you know, they can't take you know the life that you have outside of work. 
So you really have to build your own life outside of work. The way I deal with this is I had my YouTube channel. I had you guys. So thank you so much for being there, guys, and you know, interacting with me. That's why before I will always, you know, reply to the comments and things like those are my hobby. You should be able to entertain yourself by yourself even without other people so if other people are there it's good and nice but you should also be prepared when they're not available if it's just you there are so many um red eye flights that you might encounter when you become a flight attendant and some people some people are nocturnal it's okay with them they're very active at night but some people really need their sleep at night and are a morning person so during those times that I was flying as a flight attendant this is very difficult for me because I really need to sleep <laughs> it's one of my weaknesses so working at night is difficult if um, you're not used to it but you would know now you can do it if you have been doing it for about a month and you were able to adjust to it then it's all well and done but if you're doing it already for a year and you're still not able to adjust to your night work or night shifts or red eye flights it's gonna be a very difficult thing to do so for me when i was doing the flight attendant job i would use the melatonin it's a supplement that will help me sleep during the day and i will close all the windows make it dark so that i could sleep so that at night i'll have the energy to work so for me it's a struggle one of the things so if you're willing to take on this challenge you know sometimes working at night but sometimes working in the day then the flight attendant job is for you how about you guys let me know on the comments below what other things you think are the other qualities that will make the flight attendant career a perfect fit for you let me know and subscribe to this channel for more videos like this and i will see you guys on the next video